Okay, squaring shears. So a very useful and important tool in the sheet metal business. Uh, we can see it's got uh, a stepping, big yellow stepping bar across the front here. And so it's got a very long arm on it, which gives it great mechanical advantage. It's got an upper guillotine cutting part. You can see how this upper uh, arm moves up and down. It's got a gripping tool right here, which is going to hold on to your metal so that it doesn't twist or shift during the cutting process. And inside there, down in there, is some very, very sharp blades. Oh, where are we going here? Uh, right in there. So don't ever get your fingers in there. Don't try and catch or things or hold on to things close to the blade on the back. It's a bad idea. So what we're going to do, it's called a squaring shear because it's got an arm here uh, um, that we can use as a reference to put our material down and hopefully end up with a nice square cut. Always a good idea to check these things if you go into a new shop just to see how perfect they are for square. Um, there are other tools that we can, you can see it's got a, uh, a little groove in here and we can put in a tool that we could lock down that could set things on an angle. We could actually bolt it in, slide our piece of metal in there and we can cut perfect angles consistently all the time, which is a handy tool to have. This one you'll notice, most of them have this, is a, has got a um, set of arms out the back and on those arms is an adjustable stop and so what we can do you can see here there's the stop there we can set very specific distances uh, so that we can just run our piece of sheet metal in and very very accurately cut consecutive pieces time after time so a very handy tool so the question is if you draw a line or scribe a line because we're going to cut it off here uh, on your piece of metal, how do we get it perfectly lined up to cut exactly on the line? Well, your eyes are going to be your best tool for being able to see what's going on with the shear. And so what we're going to try and do, we can use the edge to, to be our, our square. And now if we look down, oh, well, that's pretty close, but it's not perfect. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look straight over you can see the blade there. We're going to keep moving until that blade pretty much just disappears. And then what we're going to do is adjust that line until it pretty much half disappears under the edge of the blade. Okay. Once that's in position, we're going to hold it. Double check. Yep, yeah, it's where we want it. And then we're going to step on the, on the treadle. Boom. And when we look at our piece of metal, you can just faintly see the edge of that black line. So that's super nice and accurate. Again, if you're going to cut, always better to cut a little showing more of the line because we'd rather be able to file down to exactly what we want rather than cutting too much and then having to throw the piece of metal away. Okay, so now I've got a, I've got a bit of an angled piece here or a bit of an angled line. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to line her up on the edge of the blade. Let's see if we can't get... Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to take that in and again, just play with it until it just half disappears. That's good right there. And cut away. And again, look at that. Oh, maybe a little bit of line showing there, but that's okay. Better to be a little long than too short. You can always file down. Now, what if you wanted to cut a circle like this? Well, this tool here doesn't look like it would do a very good job for cutting circles, but it can be a really big assistant in getting that that line. So I'm going to cut the cut the straight part first. So there we go. Make that line just disappear, kind of like that. Kind of like that. Okay. Now, if I wanted to get rid of that circle, what I could do is go halfway through the circle. Okay, like this. And what I'm going to do is put it right on the line. I'm going to bite that off, go halfway across that little edge piece there. I could even take those little, little guys off like that. Okay, go down the other side here, go to the halfway point, cut that, bite that little edge, once that little edge there, and look at that. Very, very close, just going to quickly run that on a sanding disc and uh, she's good to go. 
So it's a very fast way of getting you close. Rather than having to grind through all of that material on a sander, way better. Cut it really close with the shear, and then you're ready to go. Okay, so movable upper blade, fixed lower blade, holder, step to actually actuate the, uh, the cutter. Super handy tool, we're gonna use lots. So be ready when you get in, as soon as we get P2, it's gonna be a little big, you're gonna need to cut her down to size.